Christ uh, and to lift up his name. So uh, tell you what, uh, as, as we begin to share, uh, we just, uh, let me just pray and ask the Lord to use this time. Father, we just thank you for this time here, and I just pray that as other teams come back, they'll safely get over here, that we'll give you honor and glory for just a few minutes that we uh, were able to pray and to meet some of the neighbors in Donald's apartment. We pray this will open the door for a deep, multiplying ministry in that apartment complex. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to share a little bit. Who would like to start? Uh, all right, well, me and EJ, we... Me, and EJ, we took a we took the five wing, and uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we we went from door to door to door. We met we we had three people answer, and uh, one of them uh, was kindly put. Oh, we already had someone come by from the mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. and then another lady. She was uh, she was busy doing something. She said, "Well, they they had actually come by last week, but we appreciate it. Hey, okay, no problem." And then. Uh, Oh, uh, the other lady was uh, giving her daughter a bath. Okay. So, um, and then nobody else just answered. And we actually covered two wings. We walked five, and then we went to a 13. Yes, he was 13. That was our so you got to pray over those areas, but uh, you, pray but you, over didn't, you didn't get to but engage. There was no, there was no engagement. Okay. Um, we weren't discouraged, though, because anyway, I mean, we were planting seeds either way. So, Absolutely. Uh, so, and, I mean, and you were being faithful. Yeah. Even if you're just praying for God's openness, you were being faithful. Mm -hmm. So fantastic. Not, Someone else. Not, not, uh, not can see, but uh, I live in building 600, and I, I've seen some of, some of the people in 500, most of them are Muslims. No, we, we, we saw something like that. Yeah. yeah, most of them are Muslim in, the, in that building complex. Mm. You know, a great, a great question for a Muslim is to ask them, if, have you ever had a dream of Jesus? Because God is working in Muslim areas through dreams and visions in some unique ways. Yeah. And uh, let them tell you about what God told them in a dream. And you'll find that some of them are very open to talking about Jesus because God's already brought it in a dream. Someone else, share a story what uh, God did. Well, we, uh, Olivia and myself, we, we worked building 10. We walked building 10. We, we prayer walked, we, we walked around the building first. We prayed around the building, then we started knocking on some doors. Uh, I didn't write all the, ad, the numbers down. I only, I only noted the ones that we talked to. Okay. Okay, so I can, t the ones that we talked to, uh, uh, we, we were able to pray for, pray for that home as, as it was the one thing that you would want God to do for you. One lady, she, she mentioned about relationships, so we started you know, dealing with that and talking with her. Uh, she has a little boy about 10, 11 years old, was running around the place and busy, so a single mom with a little kid. Uh, I noted her name and the child. Another man was an uh, elderly fellow, but he was having a hard time coming to the door. But the blessing of the deal was is that uh, uh, we were able to observe what was going on around. The, the, he has a breathing problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, he, he revealed to us that he was lightheaded. That's what was taking him so long to answer the door. And so we, we, we got a chance to pray for that. You know, Amen. and to share with him, you know, that I personally have COPD, and I understand getting up real quick, you gotta kind of hear, oh, you know, do this guy. So we had a little laugh about that guy named Ralph. Uh, so we had prayer about his situation, and then another gentleman, he's a Spurs fan, so he was cleaning up the house uh, for his wife, and he didn't have time to talk, but he allowed. You know, he said, pray for me anyway, you know. And he, then I found out he has gout, so I was able to, to, to mention that I would pray for his gout, you know. Cause, Actually, we, we talked to someone else, and I saw him walking. So it sounds like you had a neat, deep conversation with him, praying through his needs and understanding yeah. him. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, if you knocked on his door a week from now, he'd probably greet you as a friend. Probably would. Praise the Lord. Probably would, probably Amen. would. I think that one of the things I just wanted to say is that uh, uh, what I'm, I'm taking from this is the, the spirit of observation, you know, just uh, being able to take care of what you see around you, you know, is going on, and then, you know, kind of feed off of that, maybe if not for this visit, but for the next time you come back there, you know, because it tells a story about what's going on in that apartment building. Absolutely. And sometimes you get a person like that that really knows the area. They've been there a while. They know the different people, and and, and you can ask them, hey, do you know anybody in this housing project that's, that's really open to God working in their lives? And they say, yeah, that lady over there, she's real spiritual. She talks about, you know, 
you may find people or that person, you know, yeah, he's Muslim, but he's always wanting to know more about God, you know. So that's cool. Cody, coming up, I'll let you facilitate the, the rest of our question time here. Sorry, I'm running behind. Uh, no, no, you're fine. Yeah, anybody got any other stories they want to share? Uh, I got quite a few interesting stories. Yes, Ryan. Um, Janelle and I went to Building 9, and um, we didn't, we actually ended up having a lot of people not answering the door. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, so we did make note of that, so that if you guys ever go back to the the, apart the same apartment complex, you can revisit those doors. Um, we did speak with a man named Jerry, who was on his way to work, but he just asked for a blessing for his family. And then also we spoke with a lady named Amy, um, and we were just she just asked for us to pray for her home. Uh, so I think it was just a good um, it was just a good time. Both Janelle and I. We had fun just being able to pray for the people and Absolutely. and uh, being able to knock on their doors. I love it. Yeah. You, you hear that? I had fun yeah. praying for people's needs. That's cool. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Absolutely. That's yeah, awesome. and I think another thing to comment too is just it's it's neat to see how our God is so vast and He's working in so many different ways. Oh, yeah. And um, as Wally and I were visiting from El Paso, and so it's cool to be able to come down here and just to see how how many different things God is up to. Amen. So. Very cool. Well, Donald and I had the 800 building, and too, we, there was a lot of no answers. But um, we had uh, we had several people that we talked to. Um, only one is truly interested in attending a Bible study, so we had a really nice conversation with her. An older lady um, who moved here because of Katrina, so she's been here for a while, but mm -hmm. not originally from here. And so we prayed for her. Her she has a son that's uh, in prison for life, so she's real concerned about you know his well-being and be, not being able to visit him really hurts her as a mom so sure. we pray she specifically asked that we pray that he be transferred to a closer facility where she can go visit him yeah. and but she is definitely interested in attending Bible study so I made a big note of that um, she attends St. Joe's Baptist Church but um, and then we had a nice conversation with um, someone that Donald had met earlier um, very nice guy um, he actually we prayed he said that he didn't have anything that he needed to be prayed over but he, that he would like to praise God because he feels very blessed so we prayed you know a, you know a Thanksgiving prayer and he was very nice invited us in and we just had a really nice conversation with him but he said he's not interested in Bible study because he's way too busy so Don and I were thinking you know if he could develop a friendship with this man that perhaps he might you know be able to to convince him that maybe he does need to come to a Bible study. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, and then um, and then a couple of small conversations, but um, those are the only two that were really significant. One lady was a Spanish speaker only, um, so I talked to her for just a little bit, um, and, but not interested in coming to Bible study. So yeah. Very cool. Yes, sir. We had three no answers. One answer to say he wasn't open to answer, <laughs> and uh, we went to a building that we had gone to before. So uh, one of the one of the people we went to is a lady who actually attends another congregation here, mm -hmm. and so it was a follow up visit. We had a great prayer for her health. She had some health issues, and for her son, she's a single mother, and this is a godly young man. I've known him for probably six or seven years, so that was nice that they came out to pray with us, and we prayed for some of their physical and for their spiritual needs. Um, another fellow has a music ministry. Uh, his name was Ed, and he uh, talked to us about some health issues from a car accident. Um, I enjoyed this visit because he invited us very willingly in. The man has obviously done some praying. I believe he knows who the Lord is, but I believe he, like some of us, lacks in some obedience. Sure. So in, in the course of his prayer, he said, Lord, I know why you sent these people here. Mm -hmm. I recognize why they're here. Mm -hmm. I, I suggested that maybe his music ministry could be expanded because he really wasn't interested in a Bible study. Sure. See, he's going to divide that. He's got pictures of John Lennon and the Beatles. He's an older man. Sure. But, you know, you could tell that he, the Lord's been working on him to expand that ministry just beyond whatever the music is. Sure. So that was great. We prayed for his health and expansion of his ministry. And also, he's going to be moving downstairs because getting up and down the stairs with his health issues mm -hmm. is becoming a problem. Uh, we knocked on another door with uh, a lady who answered two weeks ago, uh, but that same lady wasn't there. But that lady two weeks ago told us of her mother who needed a job. So this time around, mother was there, but the daughter wasn't. And so mother knew who we were, essentially, even once we identified, you know, we were here two weeks ago. Uh, we prayed with your daughter. And so we then had the opportunity to uh, pray, uh, pray with her about finding a job. Anything else? Anyone? No, that's it. Anybody else? 
Well, one of the interesting things that, that happened with my partner's not here, but he's a really tall, really brave soldier kind of guy, and he's like, you do all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm like, okay. So we knocked on the first door, no answer. Second door, you know, just like they barely opened, and no, we're fine. We don't need any prayer. But um, the third door, Denise. Um, opened and she asked us if we'd pray for her finances, which we did. And she actually came outside of the door, you know, and um, rather than allowing us to come in. And and then when we were finished, she asked, you know, like peeked over the, the that church over there. Is that where you came from? So there may be some interest with Denise. But by the last door, I said, "So do you want to do?" He's like, "Yeah, I got this one." <laughs> so it was really cool to see. It's like Very it's cool. really not that hard yeah. and or scary once you you know have seen it done. Sure, so. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Uh, Luke, Becca, and I went out. This is my very first time, and this is, I, I, I regrettably say this, this is my very first time intentionally canvassing a neighborhood for evangelism. Uh, and I've been a, a pastor for a few years and saved since 2008. Um, and so it was a new experience for me. Uh, but it was, so, it, it was so exciting. The very first home we went to, the lady had a bunch of little ones. Miss Tiffany had a bunch of little kids running around, and we're just, I was just like, hey, I was just like, you know what, just stick to the plan. I, I, I start ADHD, DHD, <laughs> and just kind of get way off track. And so I'm like, just go, just try John's plan. And I just played the, pr prayed the blessing, and right off the bat, I said, can I pray for you guys? And, and Carissa was all, well, we need that here. And I was like, yes, <laughs> this is so exciting. The little ones. And, and her mom was like, yeah, well, we know about the church. And we, we listen to the Bible on audio. And just a, a huge interest in seeking God, which was so cool. And then out of nowhere, Esteban just goes, I'm, I'm afraid. And I'm like, afraid of what? And he was like, monsters, I was all, ministry. So I, I was like, well, would you like me to share some stories with you about people in the Bible who were afraid? And, and how God helped them overcome their fear. And he was real timid. And her mom was like, well, yeah, you guys can come back anytime and share stories. So we ran back over here. We got a Bible. We ran right back and just got to go in their home and share. I shared a story about uh, Joshua, how the Lord told Joshua to be strong and courageous and how Gideon was hiding in the wine press and he was afraid and how God helped him overcome those fears. And uh, Carissa has a biblical background. She was like, I know about Noah, uh, Moses and Noah and I know these things. And so she's been reading your Bible, and they were all, yeah, come, please come back, and so definite seed sown there for the community to be able to just really invest in in that family, and then walked around the corner. We only had one level. Uh, it was one level of apartments, so four houses, 50% uh, success rate here. Uh, walked around, and the other side, and one person answered on the other side, and uh, just kind of began to pray with him, and he came out, and, and please don't take any offenses. He looked like me. He had tattoos and piercings. And, and that's just not common in church from history's standpoint. And so he was like, man, that's so cool just to see somebody who's got tattoos and piercings out spreading the gospel. And yeah. it was, so it was a really good encounter uh, for us, uh, for me, because it was my first time. And then I just, I got real excited about it. I was so excited to share the gospel. But one of the things I wanted to share with you guys, like, first off, I just want to, I just want to, not in a un, an awful way, I want to give John some, just some honor where it's due. I've been blessed for the past couple of months to be around John and Janelle, and I've seen more salvations out of these guys than I have in mega churches over a span of a year. Sure. And, and that is just, I mean, thank you guys so much for what y'all do. We were down doing, uh, I, I run a summer lunch program at my uh, church, <laughs> and, and Luke helps me with that, and a gentleman came in, and I'm, I'm super practical. You know, a homeless man came in off the streets, hey, I'm hungry, let's put some food in your hand so that when you go, I can... Love them in practical ways, right? Mm -hmm. So that's just the way I'm geared. And John's all, hey, man, can I talk with you guys? And I'm all, oh, duh, I'm a pastor. I should share the gospel. <laughs> and John just jumps on it. Three people got saved right there just because he went out and just shared faith with them. That was so amazing. And then a, a, a gentleman he's been investing in, my buddy Dirt, his name's awesome, Dirt, uh, Steve. Uh, his real name is Steve. We call him Dirt. Um, is a biker, ex-marine, ex-biker, just rough dude. You look at him and you're like, keep your kid, hide your kids, hide your wife. Just stay away <laughs> from dirt. And he, he, he calls us on uh, Friday. He's like, hey, man, I'm not going to make it to church. My, my mom has some friends coming in, and I want to share some scripture with them. And we're like, okay, do whatever you, know, you feel God's asking you to do. Those four people that came in because dirt shared scripture gave their life to Christ. Well, then 
just out of the blue, the same day he was sharing those scriptures at the same place, his friend showed up with four more people. And those four people were like, what, what, what's going on over there? Like, I, I kind of want what they got. Like, that looks good. The buffet's nice, and it's all laid out. Can I have some of that? And they all committed. So eight people in one day committed themselves to trusting in Christ because one man chose to share scripture. And so I just wanted to share that as an encouragement for all of us that it is, like, you don't got to, it's not rocket science. It's not like this big, grandiose, $10,000 light show, and then maybe somebody will feel something. No, just tell them the truth about Jesus, and it really, it really works. So I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. And, and as we kind of transition out of this, if anybody doesn't, anybody else got anything they want to share? Yes, ma'am. This is my first, I'm Lorraine Card. I'm from Carmen. We went four years ago, and I've been trying to go on a mission trip since. But anyway, this was a, a unique experience for me. Tr- my church has been doing about 12 weeks of evangelism, mm-hmm. but we've not evangelized anywhere. So this is a good experience for me. <laughs> yeah. However, when I was out with Jim and Carmen, um, we were praying for this one lady that needed a job. And I, you guys maybe can help me with this. I'm a social worker by, by uh, trade. My first instinct was to give me your information so I can help you find a job. Yeah. So I don't know where this fits into this puzzle of when you are evangelizing or canvassing. I know your, your skill set, whatever you have, kicks in, but where does it fit in? Well, that, 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 what, what you just said right there is, is one of the things we can just love them in practical ways. You know, we want to meet people's needs, and if they need a job and you can provide that, that's definitely loving somebody in a pr- very practical way. And so however you can establish that connection would just be amazing, you know, to provide and somebody. Open the door to share and like open the door. credibility yeah. through, oh, you did this for me, and you, yeah. and she's not open Because you can then give praise to God. Like you I'm know, when, when you help them, then you can say, well. well we didn't get any phone numbers or anything like that. Yeah. Sure. Just, just that's what in the next yeah. deal is. Okay, yeah. you go back a second time. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll see see the well, <laughs> the, the desire with this is really just to establish, uh, we have both short-term and long-term, the main goal is long term, you know, uh, so many people get wrapped up in, 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 you know, giving their life to Christ and then just kind of sweeping everything else under the rug. Like, I'm so hungry for life more abundant that I want to share it with other people. And that's kind of the whole point of evangelism is I hear so many people who are like, well, yeah, I'm a believer. Was God done any, anything miraculous in your life? Well, I, I couldn't say that. But that's not life more abundant, in my opinion. Yeah. I get the feeling, although there's a lot of individual effort, Holy Spirit be blessed first. Yeah, but I just get the feeling that because this is a repeat, because of the way we do this, uh, when we walk away from this area, the Holy Spirit doesn't leave. Oh no! And I, and I got the feeling that over a period of time, these neighbors who interact with each other are going to realize that people outside there love them, and like these guys came to see you too, and they pay for you too, and this just is great stimulation that yeah. the Holy Spirit. We're not doing it. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit was there before we got there, That's right. and just because God used us. It just it just increases the awareness among the Absolutely. individuals and among each other. The lady that she's talking about finding a job for it was it was her daughter we talked to two weeks ago. So that lady knew. And yeah. you talk about practical love. You know, as we were going to leave, there's a big bag of trash sitting there. I'm like, can I take that out to the dumpster for you? Because she was like, oh, oh yeah. And that seems simple enough. But like you say, if you like the lady just told you, if you can do that, if there's some way you can help that lady find a job, it's within your power to do so without causing you trouble. I mean, legally, whatever then God can be given glory for that. That's right. That lady will know that God sent you yeah. to tell her about him, and in the process of that, he blessed her with the job. Yeah. I love the practicality of, of this, uh, This, you know, I don't want to say formula because there's not really a formula with God, but I love how practical this is because now people can testify to what they've seen and heard, mm-hmm. and, and that's what Jesus sent back to John the Baptist when he was in prison, was testify to what you see and hear. And that's the way I just, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about what God's doing with this uh, training for trainers. This is amazing. Yes, Ms. Janelle. I would just like to encourage everyone for being an encouragement to me. Thank you for coming because we thought it was going to be a little tiny group of people. Look at you guys who came out. It's so wonderful. And it was a really hard day for John and I. And sometimes when you're doing God's will, big things happen that are obstacles. But God moves them in order to show I have the victory and you don't have to be defeated and that's what he did today with you guys we feel great victory in the Lord and thank you for coming and being learners and doers you're not just reading God's word you're doing it too we're going to transition to 